All right, today we're gonna show you how to create a good cocktail photograph. We're here at the AC Hotel in Irvine, and we have a friend, bartender Luis, who's gonna help us. He goes by Bowtie Louie on Instagram. Follow him, follow him, follow him. So he's gonna make us a Negroni cocktail for a Negroni week. You're a beautiful person, you're a good person, and if no one's told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. I'm gonna show you what I do to create a compelling cocktail photograph. I'm really excited. I've been working on my food and drink uh, photography lately, and this is a cool opportunity to practice and take a cocktail drink from good to great, from average to extraordinary. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna tell you a couple of tips that I use in creating a exciting, motivating, dramatic, uh, cocktail photograph. Three techniques I use to create an interesting cocktail photograph are contrast, isolation, and focus. So, the first thing I do is look for contrast. Part of this has to do with light and dark, part of this has to do with geometry, but what you want to do is look for contrast to give that image punch. You really want your image to draw the viewer in, and so I use contrast for that. The second thing I think about is isolation. And this has to do with contrast. You also have to think of how are you isolating that drink from the background? We're using a lot of the context, like the bar, patrons, details, you know, more of a lifestyle shot. Or is the cocktail by itself complete? Maybe on a black background or a stark white background. Third is the focus. This is the trickiest one I think sometimes. I have a macro lens that I'm trying to master. So you have to plan and decide where that focus goes so you get a dramatic photo that draws the viewer in. You have to think of it like a story, is how is the viewer gonna connect to that story? Where are they looking? Where's the action or the, the photo suggesting there might be action or interest or emphasis? And you can use the focus to create that. This image is the one that I consider the most successful or compelling one of the day. And that's because the area of focus is also the area of the highest contrast. So the sunlight coming through the hotel front doors is directly behind the orange and rosemary garnish that's clipped to the top rim of the glass. And also this has a mild balance of context. So there's the board underneath the drink. There's also some uh, garnishes of the dried oranges and the rosemary below. But basically the drink is isolated and there's nothing else competing for attention. And so this is the image that I picked that combines all three characteristics for a good cocktail photograph. So yeah, contrast, isolation, and focus. Those are three things that I use to create a motivating cocktail photograph.